Welcome to Living with Letters, a place where parents and caregivers of pre-kindergarten children have fun learning together. A place where adults wear their play clothes and see the world through their child's eyes. And speaking of play clothes, today I'm wearing an old shirt that I glued leaves onto to try and camouflage myself outdoors, just like my visitor. Come and see who came to visit me today and see how my visitor is camouflaged in his surroundings. Come and take a look. This morning, I looked out my window and saw a visitor on the window frame. He is bright green and as long as my littlest finger. It may be looking for something to eat. It is called a praying mantis. It is an insect. I saw another praying mantis last year on a bush outside my front door. This praying mantis was twice as long as the one I saw this morning. And this one is brown and green. Look how it blends in with the surroundings. That is called camouflage. Take a look at how I tried to blend in with my surroundings. Take a look and see how well I blended in with my surroundings. Let's learn about praying mantises with an informational book by Margaret Hall. Praying Mantises by Margaret Hall. Praying mantises. What are praying mantises? Praying mantises are insects. How praying mantises look. Praying mantises are about the size of a child's finger. Praying mantises have six legs. Many praying mantises have green or brown bodies. Praying mantises can also be pink, white, or yellow. Some praying mantises look like leaves or flowers. Praying mantises sit very still. What praying mantises do? Praying mantises turn their heads from side to side. Their heads look like triangles. Praying mantises fold their front legs together. Praying mantises grab other animals to eat and insects too. Next, we'll read a narrative story that is based on facts about praying mantises. It's called My Awesome Summer by P. Mantis, and this is written and illustrated by Paul Mizell. My Awesome Summer by P. Mantis, illustrated and written by Paul Mizell. May 17th, I was born today. It's a beautiful sunny spring day. May 18th. It was so crowded in the egg case. Really, really crowded. Me and around 150 praying mantis brothers and sisters. I don't have any wings yet, so I can't fly. May 19th. It's okay that I can't fly. The bush I was born on has aphids all over it. Yum. Soft and delicious. May 24th. Some big birds landed near me. I did my cool trick, pretending to be a stick, blowing in the wind. They flew away. August 9th. Ah, I love the summer. Long hot days, cool nights. I like to hide in the shade and eat bugs near the flowers. I chewed the head off a bee. Not my favorite. August 15th. Finally, I can fly. Almost got eaten by a bat. Landed on a branch and made like a stick until it flew away. October 14th. I found it, the bush where I was born. I laid eggs, 
put foam around them. It hardened and made an egg case. Hundreds of praying mantises will be born in the spring. Adult praying mantises eat just about anything they can catch. That means that live insects like flies, moths, crickets, mosquitoes, grasshoppers, and spiders. Better watch out. Praying mantises use camouflage to hide from predators. Color is one type of camouflage. Praying mantises are usually brown or green, but they can also be white, pink, or yellow. They also sway or rock to look like a leaf or a stick blowing in the wind. Suggest your child draw what he or she remembers about the praying mantis. Of course, they can look at pictures in the book or draw from their memory. Let your child draw however they like without any direction. Maybe they'll draw a leaf first. Just like the leaf in the book. And next, the praying mantis. Let's see. Its head is shaped like a triangle with two eyes. Two antenna. Its body is long. And he has six legs. His body has some brown in it because he's older. The next thing I would do is ask your child to tell you about his picture. As your child is describing his or her drawing, write down every word. Then read it out loud so your child can see the connection between spoken language and the written word. Let's see if your child can remember any praying mantis facts that we read about today. You can write them down and your child can draw pictures of some of the insects the praying mantis likes to eat. To recap our experience with nature and camouflage, I'll share a great way to help your child remember their experience with praying mantises and discovering the fun in learning. Tell me about your day today is a great way to share your child's experiences with you. It's written by Mem Fox and illustrated by Lauren Stringer. There was once a boy who loved bedtime. He loved the last kiss. He loved the last story. He loved the last good night. He knew he was in the company of friends and couldn't wait for their conversation to begin. The blue horse shook her mane. Hello, blue horse, the boy whispered. He loved blue horse. Tell me about your day today. And blue horse told him about her day. The who, the what, the why, and the way the whole wild thing. Next, Fat Rabbit twitched his ears. Hello, Fat Rabbit, the boy whispered. He loved Fat Rabbit. Tell me about your day today. And Fat Rabbit told him about his day, the who, the what, the why, and the way, the whole wild thing. By asking your child the who, the what, the why and the way, you are reinforcing what your child learned and experienced. All week long, wherever you are with your child, create opportunities to dialogue about your praying mantis discovery, the facts you learned, the camouflage shirt you created, and the drawing your child made that should be hung proudly. 
Most importantly, make learning fun.